Hello everyone and welcome! In this video, we're gonna cover a very common issues related to installing WAMP server for beginners using Windows as operating system. You're gonna need to know this, so stick with us! Before going over the installation step, let's know more about WAMP. WAMP is an acronym that stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. It's a software stack which means installing WAMP installs Apache, MySQL, and PHP on your operating system, which is Windows. Even though you can install them separately, they are usually bundled up and for a good reason too. WAMP acts like a virtual server on your computer. It allows you to test your code without any consequences since it's localized on your machine and is not connected to the web, which means that you can use WAMP as a safe space to work on your website without needing to actually host it online. So you don't need to wait until files are uploaded to your site and this makes creating backups much easier. Now it's time for the installation so for that go to the website wompserver.com and then click on the version that matches your operating system for me it's uh, wompserver64 you can download it directly it's gonna take a few minutes according to your internet speed now the installation has successfully completed so after you have to click on the setup and accept the license agreement click on next here i would advise you to not skip without reading the whole information it says first that we need making sure to install microsoft visual c packages that make WAMP server work on our operating system. So in this step we have to cancel this installation and go visit this website to install all VCS that match our operating system. and then restart the installation. You can notice too that there is an information about Skype. Actually, the port 80 is reserved for possible use by WAMP server, which is taken by Skype too. To avoid this conflict, it is possible to completely change the Skype port or try to quit Skype on every use of WAMP server. If we go down, we're gonna see possible links to download VCS packages just from here. Click on next. So for me, I just want to rename my folder as WAMP and I will click on next to install all of the versions click on next and install it's gonna take a few moments And after we are asked to choose our default browser, so for me, I want to have Chrome as a default browser. I'm going to click on yes. From time to time, you will see a French words. It's just because I'm using a French version of Windows but I'm going to translate without no problem so here I'm gonna choose programs and Google and after Chrome and Chrome
and after we're gonna be asked if we want to choose notepad as our editor text by default so we're gonna click on yes click on next and install so our installation has successfully completed so here in my desktop I'm gonna click on WAMP server icon to launch it it's gonna take a few moments before getting ready to use So now we have to make sure that everything works perfectly so we're gonna click on the icon of WAMP server which is red for the moment that means that all servers are down the color changes from red to orange and after it's gonna be green which means that all services work And now it's time to test our localhost and database manager. We're gonna click on localhost and it works perfectly without any problem because we have this page and we want to make sure that our PHP my admin is working as well so we're gonna click on it and we're gonna be redirected to localhost php my admin and we need here to mention our username which is by default is root without any password and we're gonna click on execute that's it for today so make sure that you follow all the steps mentioned in this video to have WAMP server successfully installed in your machine so please don't forget to subscribe like and share that helps me to post more videos in english bye